Have you ever felt a blocked nose after your nasal surgery? Up to 40% of people who receive surgery to remove the blockage from their nose, for example due to nasal polyps, deviated nasal septum, or enlarged turbinates, didn't expect to endure a kind of complication that once again blocked their nose. Have the polyps come back already? Nasal synechiae are scar bands or adhesions that form between surfaces that are healing in the nasal cavity and can lead to repeated nasal obstruction, disrupting nasal drainage and breathing. The risk factors for nasal synechiae are any type of nasal procedure or nasal trauma. The more extensive the surgeries, in which both the nasal septum and lateral wall are operated, or if there are accidental abrasions, the more prone it is to adhesions. Poor post-operative care and excessive crust formation in the nose, such as in patients suffering from granulomatous or autoimmune conditions, may increase the likelihood of synechiae formation in wound healing. To treat nasal synechiae, the doctor may cut the scar band or cauterize them directly, but it may grow back as well while the wounds are healing. So, the doctor will make sure that some medications are applied on the raw mucosal surfaces and place an internal nasal splint for a few days. The patient then needs to regularly do a large volume and thorough rinsing of their nasal cavity with clean water or saline solution. Make follow-up appointments so any sign of crust formation can be detected endoscopically and subsequently removed. This way, the risk of nasal synechiae reforming is much less likely and you can breathe deeper and better.